you guys. No, no, Since you're no, 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 not yet. No. Wait until Tweeter gets done. Tweeter's still going? <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Now go. We can go now. <laughs> All right. It's Acrylic Monday. We're going to be painting something fun with acrylic paints. Uh, it's going to be toward the Halloween theme, or at least fall. And um, I think you're going to be excited about that. It, those of you who are participating in our show as it first airs have the opportunity to enter to win the painting I'm doing tonight. Plus, we have an additional surprise for our basic supporters, uh, Beginner Academy and Senior Academy members, a super, super new video that we made specially just for all three, the, all three groups. And, that, um, is, and someone's going to actually win a downloadable of that. Lots of things to talk about. Plus, you know, there'll be, uh, Salvador has offered to, um, uh, another paint set for some lucky uh, participant. So, listen, stay tuned, you guys. We got news. Okay, the good news is, boss, yeah. boss, we have no uh, intro. That's the good news? Yeah, the so good news is... So there was nothing we, to stay tuned <laughs> for? It was just us? Yeah, it was just <laughs> us because the uh, system updated and apparently it didn't keep the, uh, didn't keep the, uh, oh, yeah. our, our intro. Don't even get me started when I think about things that are updating, <laughs> right? Updating, you know, the phone updates, all your numbers are gone. It's just weird So, so we're happen. back with everybody, and uh, we're ready to paint now. You know, let's, yeah, let's quit let's goofing start, off yeah. here, boss. Uh, well, as you can see, I've been busy putting out the paints and the labels for these uh, for the Salvador paint set. Uh, I, we opened a new one tonight. We're doing our, you know, and um, it's just all kind of messed up. But someone will get that all, all nicely in a box, a new, brand new one unopened. It comes with a palette knife, 12 brushes, a sponge, and a palette. And yeah, what's neat about this is this whole set sells on Amazon for under, I think it's like $25. And if you use the discount code, which is in the description below, okay, and on YouTube, not below me, but on YouTube, it's description, because <laughs> um, it wouldn't do you good if I had it, you didn't. Um, <laughs> just to be clear, um, you can get an additional 15% off if you go to our store. It's ginger cooklive.gallery forward slash Amazon. Oh, that's simple. You're at the store. And when we say a store, is it just, what we've done is collect a lot of the things that we use all the time, um, you know, and we put it there for your convenience. We don't own any of those products, right? When we tell you it's a store, Amazon and whoever sells that stuff owns it. And, um, you know, they might throw a penny or two our way, literally, if you buy something from there, but it's really for your convenience. But it also helps when you go to the store. It helps us see what, you know, what people are liking and that kind of stuff. And uh, there's a lot of, for instance, people have asked me about my hair products and like have a section on that. And I had a massager recently that I found really helped frozen shoulders. So we just threw that up there in the store. Just things that we like, kind of like Oprah's favorite things. Those are like Ginger's favorite things. How's that? Is that a good explanation? And even if you don't buy anything. Of what we're recommending, but if you go through our affiliate link, we do appreciate that because no matter what you buy on Amazon, a few pennies will come our if, way. If you visit the store first, then we get credit for anything else you get. So visit our store and then go buy a car or something you yeah. know, on Amazon. We'd love it. We'd probably get, I, we, we, we'd probably probably get, get a quarter. But, but at least a quarter, right? At least a quarter. So anyway, that's kind of something fun to do. And I think that, our, you know, um, Amazon's been a real, I think they've been a real help. And, and now as to where the, um, the labels, you can, the labels are Avery labels. And the, the template for this is in um, our personal store, which is the uh, gingercookstore.com. And they're under products and they're free. You can just download them if you and we also have the ones we use for the heavy body paint, so that you have, we have the labels either for. Yeah, we got to work on that list again too. That needs to be updated. We need to update it, but still, it's what we've been using for Maybe years. Maybe I can enli enlist yeah. Elizabeth again for that. Yeah. Task. So this is the uh, we're using real uh, canvas. Uh, it's it's called they're from Jerry's Autorama. They're called Paramount. Wait, unfortunately, we don't have they we do not have those in our store, but um, it's a six by eight. And uh, that makes it a nice size to, to give away. Now, you can't, can't wait to see what we're painting, right? So this is our reference photo of what we're painting with the birds and the lantern and the sky. So how cool is that, right? I love so it. So that's, that's our reference photo. And, um, the, and the paints I've got out, I didn't put any of the greens out, but I pretty much all the blues from... Uh, I was you got one green over there. Well, I guess I always put out that yellow green because I like it so much. But burnt umber, burnt sienna, a little bit of black, all the reds, um, 
and the yellows and some titanium white from golden and then their white. So the thing that, that I'm, and we'll get right to that. And I want to, before we get too far along, I want to sh thank you guys for joining us and for hanging out with us on Mondays. We really appreciate it. We appreciate our moderators who are out there. Who's out there, John? Our moderators are. Yeah, but who specifically? Well, we have Lady Liz who's joined us this evening and Miss Stephanie and Luann. And I saw Judy earlier. I don't think Miss Mona is with us today. She's okay. in Sweden, well, so guys. she joins us when she say, when she can stay awake. Yeah, so a little All late right. for her over there. Yeah, so and thank uh, you, ladies, ladies of Sherwood Forest, for joining us today and keeping they, peace. Now, they also help us out on uh, Facebook. They're moderators on our Facebook club, Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club as you guys know them, and they're, they're there all the time. And if you haven't uh, joined, that's a free site, Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club. What's really nice is that you get to see our paintings before anybody else, our newest stuff for the Academy. You get to see that. You get to see your friends, what they're painting. Uh, we, we answer questions. It's a nice site to be at. It really is. And it, 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 there's never, it, it's heard a discouraging word, really, at that site. So I'm going to come up here about three fingers and also that's where I give shout outs um, if you're an Academy member and you've sent me your artwork for pack and you click you check whoa whoa whoa, whoa. What, what what's a pack what do you oh, mean pack okay. what's if that you, mean oh, oh sorry well good, good point John so if you're a senior Academy member of the ginger cook uh, uh, acrylic um, live dot gallery or Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting where we have over 500 step-by-step uh, -step tutorials and new ones are added every week you have the option of either sending in something you've done with us on YouTube or something you, we've, you've, a lesson you've done in the academy or maybe one of your own. And what you do is you, uh, a pack is personal art coaching. We then send me the paint, a photograph of the painting, and I make Catholic suggestions and a little video and send it back to you. And every once in a while, one of you guys just hits it out of the park. Maybe uh, you got it the first t try, maybe it was the fourth try, but when you hit it out of the park, sometimes I want to give you a shout out. And so uh, we gave a couple of shout outs this week to people and uh, look for those. So we, you know, because we, uh, we're, pr I'm telling you what, when you guys, I'm so proud of what you paint and how great that you do for these tutorials. I feel like when, when you get it, maybe perhaps I'm ex explaining it, but you know, well, if you understand what we're painting. So we're constantly repeating things. People are at different levels. The thing, the trick is don't get in competition with anybody but yourself. Try to improve, you know. Um, we encourage people, you know, uh, to watch the videos. Uh, uh, watch the videos. Maybe watch it a couple of times. Um, uh, this was three fingers, in case you were wondering what that was. Okay, and I'm going to put a kind of a neat sky in here, because I want to put this... That's about an inch and a half for those that don't have fingers. Yeah, so I'm going to put that sky in there right now. So, uh, we do that, and, um, which is... What do we do? I forgot. We're, we do something. What do we do, John? We do all kinds of things, my queen. I know. <laughs> just going somewhere with what we do, and then I, I'm going to do the sky. I know that. <laughs> just never mind. All right. So these are the angle brushes. Probably the biggest one I have. It's a three quarter inch, a ruby set silver angle. That's the biggest one they make, queen. That's the biggest one they make. So I want to take some titanium white. Now that and, is our heavy body golden titanium white. Yeah, and then a little bit of say, brilliant blue. I think. Let's come on over here, a little bit more of that blue color. Just You see, just on the corner of my brush, there you go. And I'm going to just add a little bit more to that. There you go, just right over this blue blue canvas. And then I want a little bit more of this, um, let's try this uh, turquoise blue. And uh, maybe just blend that in. This is sort of what I call a, a wispy, we want to say this is a wispy, wispy uh, kind of sky, kind of a deep dark night sky. The captain said to the mate, mate, tell us a story and the mate began. It was a dark stormy night. The captain said to the mate, remember that? Camp? Anybody else go to camp but me? <laughs> See a couple Sorry. of you are having problems with your chat freezing. If that happens, hit the refresh button and it should kick it back in. That does happen occasionally, even to the best of us. A little bit of ultramarine blue here. How about a little bit of this permanent violet? That's a pretty color. Let's pull on some of that. And going back in here, all blending this in. 
Ooh, I like that permanent violet, don't you? Yeah, it's a good color. Oh, but that's a, that's a nice color. It's probably a magenta if, you, uh, if you're not using these paints. I'm going to use some of their white, which is very is a little bit th thinner. And uh, we're going to come on up here and maybe do a little bit of brilliant blue again. Mm, no, let's try a little ultramarine. There we go. And that's um, that's kind of our um, our first thing we can do before we have to get it dry. But I can, for instance, come along here maybe and lighten this up like that. This down here on the bottom of this, and then we're gonna then I'm just um, gonna come down here, change brushes because I have got white on the brush, and take some a um, uh, little damp brush now, a little bit of burnt sienna, and a little bit of black. And I'm going to come along here like that, burnt sienna, and a little bit of black, and just Actual paint. black black? Yeah, black and burnt wow. sienna. It's, you know, that's and a rare probably one. about 10% black, the rest burnt sienna. Or I guess that's burnt umber, isn't it? Oh, I see. I reversed them. So it actually is, this is burnt, this is burnt umber. I put them in the wrong spot. There are you. Oh, no, don't do that. There. That's burnt sienna. That's burnt umber. So, you had a that's an interesting, you know, mind test. I'm reading the label and thinking that's not the color. <laughs> Something's wrong with this picture. <laughs> that's good, though. I, and intellectually, no, that's not. But then that's what the label says. It is. And since I put the label, it's even screwier. Okay, so that's the first stage that I can do. And I need to dry, dry that before we go much further. So rather than to put the hair dryer on, let's show you some stuff, shall we? Oh, what do you have to show? Mm, yes, Are your fingers yes. clean? Uh, no. Fingers are never clean, John. That's just a sad thing. Out come the top of town. See, that's what took us so long to get to do the show. She had paint everywhere. On my we face had to clean her up. <laughs> I have paint on my face even. <laughs> just putting the paint out just um, spreads. I don't understand that. You open the tube, squeeze it out, and it gets on her face. All right, so here's the big surprise. You want to know the big oh, reveal? Oh, I do. I do. Yeah. What's the, what's the big all reveal? All right. Do you see Ooh. this painting? This, you see our, this Halloween painting right here? I this like is that. a. Um, how big was this, John? I called it a nine by twelve. It's a nine by twelve, right? I think. I think it's a nine by twelve. Yeah. That's no, twelve. Well, must be yeah, nine. Yeah, must up. be nine by twelve. I couldn't. I was talking to Kim this morning. I couldn't remember. So it's a nine by twelve, and. Uh, this is going to be in every uh, on the both academies and available even for our basic supporters, which are four ninety five a month. Um, it's going to be there, and it's, it's going to be released. It was released at five thirty p.m. It's released. It's there right now, you guys, and it's also in the senior academy. And we also have it available for those that aren't a member. In our store, it's on sale right now for twelve ninety five. Normally, you can, thirty four ninety five. Normally, it's a thirty four ninety five downloadable lesson, owned forever. For but twelve ninety five. For, for twelve ninety five, we're doing the special, and that's running till. We're gonna run that through Turkey Day. Okay, that's that's. We think that's pretty cool. So this is a really cool uh, lesson. You you don't have the. We have. We'll show you. We actually have a reference photo. That's this picture which we thought was really cool. We, we kind of edited a little bit, but we think this is really neat. I think you guys are going to really That's like it. Is that sitting over there? Well, it, you, it was, John, and then it isn't. So I guess it's not anymore. Let's think about that. John, well, it was there, John's, and then it John's wasn't. Thinking. So then it isn't. It's good to think about and things, And then now it is. Hmm. Oh, yeah, see, it wasn't there anymore, you guys. You had to go get it. So look, there's our reference photo. How cool did we do with that, right? Is that neat or what? So anyway, and it, you can you'll be able to when you download it. We'll have in the resources a traceable for that. You can just trace it right on. Be easy to do. A little two cookie lesson, pretty simple, but I think very nice for the holidays. And that's our holiday uh, Thanksgiving uh, Halloween gift for you guys. And we appreciate our basic supporters and our academy members, both the beginner and advanced members. And senior members, and so anyway, Everybody, even Wave and Water gets it. Everybody, gets everybody it. gets it. It's our holiday little gift to you guys. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's our holiday gift to you guys. And if you want to own it as a downloadable lesson and keep it as a collector's item, or your internet isn't that hot, you know, you don't have, you know, you can. Um, some people don't, you know, can't. We all take internet for granted, but if you live out in the boondocks, sometimes uh, not to say anything about your docks being boony, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anyway. But I saw the boat drift away the other day, so, <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking it is. If you live out that far, it can, um, 
it can, can be, be a, a bit little. of a challenge sometimes to get internet. And you, you remember when the phones were dialing up and you couldn't get anything? I remember taking an online class one time, and I could never get in the classroom. Oh, yeah, on dial-up? Yeah, could never get in back in the early 90s. And we were all complaining. We, 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 well, we went from 300 baud, 300 kilobytes to 1,200. Mm -hmm. Oh, I tell you, we were in hog heaven then. All right, so I'm going to do the top sky now here and take a little permanent violet and ultramarine blue. And I want to come up here with this dark sky. That's very dark. And uh, yeah, it's it is scary. up there. That's it's our, our kind of dark sky. We don't want to go down too far with it. Our little birdies won't show. Um, and then I'll take a little bit of the brilliant blue. Maybe let's try cyan. There we go. Just to. Like that. There we go. And maybe some of their white. That's always good. And uh, let, let it get all um, kind of all wispy ooh. around. You can't. You have to have the sound effects. Yes and yes. So get a without sound of, effects, it won't work. Yeah, got to have sound effects. And we're going to say that there's some of this dark coming through this way, in this way, and then there's going to be some light over this. This is kind of a painting that gets layered, but we thought you'd have fun doing it, right? So any questions in our peanut gallery over there, John? Uh, <clears throat> my queen, I, I see no peanuts here, so I'm going to have to say no. Really? Peanut gallery. Uh, no. <laughs> Just... You know, where did that ever come from? <laughs> that was Howdy Doody Show. You're too, young, you're too young to remember that. Just That was the first So black... what, did you That's... serve peanuts there? That was the Howdy Doody and the Howdy Doody and whoever, Buffalo Bob, and they, um, uh, they were really neat, and they, they, they had the show, and they, the puppet and everything, and, um, but and, why did they say peanut gallery? Did um, they serve peanuts? No, there's no peanut, but all the kids, there were kids that got to, real kids that got to be on the show, and all the other kids that were stuck in front of the TVs at home were just wildly jealous of that feat, right? Well, I don't get it then. Well, I know it's one of those things, but um, uh, there you go. So, okay, yes and yes. All right, so while that's drying, we're that looks like a good stormy night. That's a good stormy night, right? That is. That's so good. then we're going to take a that's little. That's a good start. That's a good start. I think so, right? We got it nice and dark, and I, um, I would like not to have a straight line there, though. I tell you what, I'd like to have this kind of blend a little more down here like that. Let's see, a little bit of the violet. I don't want to use black. I want to just use the purples. There we go. Princess just, says her dad used peanut gallery all the time. So did my dad. I think, I think all the parents did. Yeah, that's what they grew up with. Yeah, Ooh, Mr. Green Jeans. Now that's who I grew up with. Yeah. Well, do you, hey, Mickey, thank you very much for the donation that came in through the Super Chat. Do you yeah, appreciate you that know, very much. We, we really appreciate that. It keeps everybody going. We've had, a, you know, we've had a, with scholarship quite a few members this month. A lot of people have lost their jobs, so your donations help us help others. So we appreciate that very much. Um, uh, and um, have the monthly painting challenge certificates been given out yet? No, I'm. I, you know, this month, I swear I woke up. It was September first, and now it's already October. So no, they are being completed. My, I have my boy creating them for me, and I think he got them done. I could check, maybe. I think I think where I told him to save them. All right. But they'll be going out in the next couple of days. If not today. All right, this brush will How do. are the sizes fitting for the sweatshirt for the Baccarat? What size would Ginger wear? I don't know the sweatshirts. This is a, a brand new one. I find the um, the T-shirts run true to size. I'm a 2X. Yeah, uh, yeah. And they, or am I XL? What am I? You're an extra large. I'm just an extra large. And, uh, and it fits good. As you can see, I'm wearing Taz and today. I, I have a 3X, so they fit well. Yeah, so Howdy Doody and others were Mary Ness and Buffalo Bob was the host. Yeah. Yeah, that's Howdy Doody time. And then then everybody sort of plagiarized the song. It's Howdy Doody time is just a waste of time. <laughs> you know? But you gotta you you got to understand the, the times we were living in, right? Okay, Thanks. You can ignore my email then. Okay, Teresa. I, I'm, I'm good at ignoring emails. No I probably won't, though. I'll probably answer it again because I won't remember. Mr. Green Jeans, Mr. Moose, and Bunny Rabbit. 
Yeah, and then there was Kukla, Fran, and Olive, too. Tom Terrific and Miney Manford, the Wonder Dog. And then when Cinnamon was growing up, she had the New Zoo Review with Henrietta, with Henrietta Hippo and everybody. I loved those guys. And that was, I used to sit there and watch those shows with her. I thought they were fun. You know what I mean? Just um, Do kids have that stuff nowadays? they have anything good? Well, they have Sesame, Sesame Street's kept going. And, of course, you know, they're all glued to YouTube now. They have all their little shows on YouTube. Yeah. I think that they, um, uh, my granddaughter has all her little shows on YouTube. She's like eight, and she has all, she's, she's had forever these little shows she watches, and she's just, she's a big fan of those. All right, so this has dried pretty well. We've got the, we're going to put in the lantern here. Now, just think about a, um, a box, maybe, like, is this going to show up? No. I think what I'll do is just use a Posca pen and draw it in because I think otherwise oh, you're you not going to so see it. Well, they wipe off if you don't get them the first time. Let's just draw it in so you can see it, right? Because I think that would be probably the easiest. All right, so it's going to, um, we want a straight side like this, about like that. And then you want to curve the corner. Oh, Give yeah, it some shoulders clock. and put a little box up here like this and then come on up here and put a little hat like that put a little little round thing here like that and then add the light with a little lantern here at the bottom and then this comes down here like this and goes in to the box and then this comes out like this is a little wider and uh, basically um, that's your lantern it's a lantern maybe not the perfect lantern but it's the lantern and then the pumpkin is sitting right down here like this and it's not quite a box like a, but it's more oval shaped with it kind of flat across the top here. Kind of comes around like that. Sit that there like this, and then it has the. Um, remember, you've got to reverse those. Um, these curve out, these parentheses like lines, and they kind of curve up to the top, and then there's this. They don't meet, they kind of curve it straight up like that. And then they meet like that, and there's our pumpkin. And then there's like this little deal like that and um, uh, pumpkins I made him kind of big kind of tall but that's okay because I've got a parrot I've got something over here I think a I'm going to uh, a crow but I'm going to go up here a little higher with the lantern I'm going to change this a little bit and bring the lantern up a little bit higher I have not posted the October photo challenge as of yet I was starting to go through them and I don't know if I want to give you guys another structural one or, or what. I really so. like what some of you have done. They're just amazing. I thought some of you have come up with such good ideas. And it made you kind of, I think it made everybody kind of think about what they might be doing. Yeah. All right. So that's basically. So that will be posted, I hope, by the weekend. Yeah. If not sooner. So we've got another little. Time keeps getting away from me. Uh, did you ever give me fold. more paper towels? I don't think you ever did. I did. There's a whole roll of them. Is there? I didn't see them. Brand new roll. Factory fresh, even. Well, you just have to walk over here. Just tell me where they are. They're over here, but can you reach them? No. Okay. Well, see, he didn't have it. Do, do you guys, do I have a whole new roll of them? No. Can we reach them? No. Sorry, we're going to do three pumpkins. All right, you know, like, like yay. There's your okay. quota for the day. There, perfect. So we got that. And then I think there was a little pumpkin right here. But, um, yeah, that's our third one. Well, one, two, three. So that's good enough, right? I think we'll, we'll just keep it kind of simple. Oh, it's like Sesame Street. One, two, three. So, all right. So we've got the we've got the lantern in there now. You're going. I don't know. Um, again, the um, the traceable for this. Uh, if you want to trace the image on, will be available in, on our website tomorrow on the uh, beginneracrylicacademy.com for basic supporters and up. If you feel like you want to trace it on. So I'm going to make this little, kind of change this a little bit because of the, um, 
Uh, um, where did we change it? Because you're the artist and you can? Yeah, that's why I did it. There was a reason why I did it. <laughs> now, I'm, this is an orange Probably pumpkin. Probably for scale or something? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> that's some reason why I changed it. So, anyway, we're painting this yellow because we want an orange, uh, we're the yellow and orange, and so we can't really get that beautiful bright pumpkin color over blue. So we are now painting the pumpkin blue, kind of like the, or painting the pumpkin white, kind of like the Queen of Hearts painted the roses white, didn't she? Ginger used her Posca pen to sketch this on instead of using chalk because the chalk wasn't working Well, you well. couldn't see it, and it was the paint was a little bit wet. Does that make sense? Yep. The paint was a little too wet for the chalk to, it just wanted to drag on it. So we felt like we would be doing you a disservice by not letting you Ooh. See, the, see that. And we're nothing but about service. I think there probably has to be another uh, little pumpkin right here. Hey, we would like to thank the following people for donations that came in through the PayPal system. Miss Mona, thanks for all you, Ginger and John, Art Hugs, and much more. Oh, How Mona, thank sweet, you so much. Ms. That Mona. comes all the way from Sweden. Alan, we'd like to thank you for your donation all the way from the UK. I do appreciate that, Alan, very much. And one from Barbara. Thank you, Miss Barbara. Again, that's through the PayPal system, which takes less of the profits, proceeds, that's the word, less of the proceeds. All right, you so donate. you can see how we kind of, we kind of, we did that, right? Is that a new brush she's using? Is that a new brush you're using, boss? What, what brush? I, I just grabbed What were you using? What was that? Oh. What are you using over there? I used the... Do I have to rewind it? That was one of the ones you just got me. This is a... Oh, that's the Addies. These are the Addy brushes. We're They'll be in our Amazon. We, we were still evaluating them. We did a big, big evaluation of them on this last painting, as a matter of fact. Last couple paintings yeah, we've done. Yeah, we're, we're still deciding if we like them. But it's, it's, need it's a looking very favorable right now. Uh, so we'll, we'll kick those in there so we'll have a link to them. So we're, we're still working on those. They're not expensive, are they? No. The, no, but, you get a whole set for like 12 bucks, 15 bucks. Yeah, I really like the tiny pointed ones. That's what I like. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure that... I think that might be better for a flow paint, you know, that, you know, it's kind of a soft bodied paint, but you can see where we're... Well, what you're kind of using. You're kind of a... a mess. Well, yeah, well, it is. You know, the white isn't, though. No. See, so that's the thing, that my white is... Right, take a right. little of this yellow here, and in our lantern here, we'll put a little... It just flows right on with that. Yeah, just take a little of this yellow, see, and a little bit more white, and... Um, there we go. We'll put that. Um, we'll put that in there. And that's that's kind of. I think that should be good because I w wasn't just wildly impressed with the, with coverage on that. All right. So this is we're doing that. Yeah. Okay. So so far so good. Yes and yes. Looking prima, my queen. So then the next thing would be this. Um. um uh, where would that be? Where's all? I don't know why we put things away and then we don't, and then we feel real. We get really good at putting things away and then we're not. I had a black Posca, actually paint pen. Here it is. You guys, have ever seen seen this? These. This is the ones that have uh, bristles. Yeah, and a they're real. They're, they do, and they're you know the first time I used them they were super. And then I'm, you know, we're, we're again evaluating these. But if we, if you turn the the pen, you're supposed to get more. No, you have to push the pen. Oh, you push it? Yes, ma'am. It's well, a pump. Oh, then you have to take this cap thing off. Well, then yes, that would make it push better, wouldn't it? Yes, ma'am. Well, you see the techni technical challenge we all face here. Here we go. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So I've used these before. When they were brand new, they were marvelous, right? So I'm gonna put a little water on, try and wake it up. Acrylics. Our, our, um, look at that. I'm not, I'm not wild about these bristles just coming out like that. No. Wow. That's how the cap goes back on. Yeah. I'm so not overly excited about that. I'm not excited about these, you guys. We're going to give these, like, uh, uh, the heave ho. All right. So, didn't like that. This is like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Here's a black Posca pen. And we will just very easily do the, um, 
we'll do the outline now of our of our. Has yeah, Ginger um, ever done a skull for Halloween? Yeah, no. we we have a you? we have yeah. Remember that that uh, scarecrow with the skulls and stuff? Yeah, we've done that. That was too long ago. In fact, I put the link up in our YouTube. Uh, uh, Maybe our Facebook group. Our Facebook page <laughs> not very long ago. Put the YouTube up. Oh, that was the one with uh, skeleton. What was his name? Yeah. I remember him. Remember him? Yeah. Pirate Pete. Pirate Pete. We've Pirate Pete. him. He's in our academy. Yeah. Pirate Pete. So, um, all right. I just wanted to at least get this part out. Before I had to dry anything, I'll use a brush. I just kind of wanted to use the black now that I was happy with the, um, happy with the outcome here. Okay. All right. So, um, here's some little, um, black ox oxide okay so we're just going to paint that in this is one of the pens that comes with your set of little brushes that comes with your um with a salvador, salvador paint. paint set so i'm just going to go ahead and do that you know when you're doing anything like a lantern or something like this you don't just do this and stop this is just your first layer okay if you just do something like this and stop you're not going to have the, the the results that you know the really fine art results you want so you know depending on the kind of time you can spend doing something like this but we know that we um we want this to be oh lady liz found here. the link for pirate pete right there in the feed oh thanks liz that's uh that was kind of a that was just that, the one of the first halloween things we ever did yeah we've got some really well normally I'm, you know i'm just for non-scary halloween stuff i kind of like that better you know, but that's just me. Um, okay, so you see how we, um, just by taking the black here like that. Looks like an old uh, yeah. lantern from the mines. Yeah, it looks like an old li li mining lantern, doesn't it? Kind of little handles there. All right, so that's that's a good place for that one to be. And uh, I don't know if there's a bad place for that to be, but that's a good place for that to be. How's that? Make sense? So, is this dry yet? Uh, could be. Well, let's let that dry for a second. You guys want to see, you asked about some of the things we, last year, our biggest on YouTube, this was our most successful Halloween video, our fall video, was this one. Um, the, um, this was the Canada, Quebec, and the... Uh, in the fall. It was the fall, it was the... Pumpkins in the fall with the wagon wheel. This was probably it wasn't that. Didn't I take that at the? Um, that was at the sugar that, that shack for the, the maple factory, syrup. Maple syrup, syrup yeah. factory. So that was one. And if you go back out again, I'll show you. And our most successful pin on Pinterest, which is really interesting, is this one. And this is an, in, in, on YouTube. It's another one on YouTube. Uh, I, I've done the 16 by 20, and this was like I think 11 by 14 or something. 12 by yeah. 16. But this one with the pumpkins, and that's very, very simple, like a one cookie lesson. Those are two of our most successful YouTube ones. Our Academy ones are a little different. We've got, this was our, what I call the Pumpkin Patch Kids. Here, like that. Yeah, I remember that one. And I have that's in the Academy. I love that one because this is a, for those of you who are not familiar with this, in Texas, in other parts of the country, they sell these figures. They're... They're straw figures, and the people, you know, go buy bales of hay, and they'll set up these little decors in front of their houses with, um, with all these little, you know, kind of straw dolls, and I think they're really cute, and uh, so that's, we've got that is in our academy, that one, and just as an example of some stuff that um, uh, you might want to know about, yeah? You never know. But if you did it want could be to just the painting you're looking for. Yeah, huh? All right, so let's see another brush. Looking for the br brushes go in the water and then they kind of disappear on me. Okay, so I think this is dried enough where we can now do the. Let's do some orange over here, some kind of light orange color right over the white. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's nice and bright. See how bright that? Is? Yeah. If you really, and we can even do a little yellow. If you really want something to be bright, painted over white, 
even if everything else is, you know, it makes the it same. pop out. Yeah. So, um, in this case, as I go back, I'm going to get a little bit more red on this side. This is the vermilion color, and um, kind of blend these together the way you would a sky, maybe. Um, And the pumpkin's a little bit darker at the bottom. Do you see that? Where you kind of take this and lift up and take that and lift up. So we're doing it a little bit different this time. We're starting with the light color and then adding the dark. And then we can even take a little bit of burnt sienna and um, add a bit of dark over here. And uh, you don't need a lot, but you can kind of blend that in with maybe a bit of orange. Maybe a bit of red. There you go. So that's our darkest part of the pumpkin. Remember, then we'll put these back. We probably have a name. So um, then I'm going to rinse my brush and wipe it, and then I'm going to erase. Look at that. See where well, this is still wet? Come on, you guys. That's clever, isn't it? Rinse, wipe, swipe. I'm going to sit there and say this is the, um, probably just get about one of these, and then you have to do it again. There you go. So that's a, kind of a neat way to, to do a pumpkin. Well, we can do the others like that too. So start with the yellow and the orange, right? And let's see, let's start with the yellow. This is vermilion lemon yellow. We'll paint those that color. I think we can paint those all about like that. And then um, let's do a little bit of the orange over here. And I think I want a smaller brush for this. Um, a little bit of permanent violet I think would be good for the dark. Um, uh, lines and then maybe a lighter one here like that. And just pull up a little dark on this side. Same thing over here. This is a little quarter inch angle brush. We have a request for another ODG sometime soon. Well, of course, the Academy's got one coming up with the lady with the. Oh, yeah. But That's wait Julie. till you see what the Academy's getting this week, you guys. What are they getting this week? Did I already do it yet? Didn't you say it was the sheep, sheep right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's a great lesson. Yeah, I like that one. See how you can kind of highlight it? Just rinse, wipe. Just kind of lift off the paint. Rinse, wipe, swipe. It kind of it thins it down, but also gives you a little highlight too. It does, and even over here, I can. Um, I'll tell you a little secret. If it's too much, I can go over here with my tub of towels like this and come right here and lift off paint right here. If I need another highlight and it's dry, do that with rubbing alcohol too. But I think I want something a little bit brighter right here. See, just right in here I want a little bit of, that's set up enough where it'll take a bit of the light yellow, right, and the highlight. And the same with these, this will take a bit right like that. That's kind of a cool, I think that's sort of an interesting way to, to uh, do pumpkins. And um, um, just something a little different that we can do. And there was a little bit of dark kind of behind this like that. Yeah, we'd like to thank uh, Lenny for the 
donation that came in in honor of Mighty Manford the Wonder Dog. Excellent choice. Yes and yes, thank you. And we also like to thank Alan. Once again, Alan. Really do appreciate that, buddy. All right, so we're back over here with the yellow on this one, right? So let's just get some clean print right here like that. We're going to say this little pumpkin is in front of that one. So well, once you see how I'm doing these, they're not that hard to do, but make sure you're not just making little round circles. Pumpkins um, all have bit little odd shapes. They're gourds, and um, and they have odd sh they do have odd shapes. And um, and this, like for instance, this one's kind of flatter, so you're you're kind of looking down on it, so you can see the top of it, which is a little darker. And this one we're going to make a little darker, put a little bit of that permanent violet on it. There you go. See, so we keep keep um, keep adding layers. You keep add, yeah. You just that's the trick. You just keep adding layers. And it dries a little bit, and then you add another little layer, like for instance. A little d darker spot up on top here. You don't want them to look like tomatoes. You got to be very careful not to, you know, have. But they're, they're keep them orange, and again, you don't want them. There's uh, nothing worse than a tomato pumpkin. Well, it's not that it's the worst thing ever, John. But oh. it's not the best thing ever, is it? No, it's definitely not the best. No. So there's a little bit of light in our lantern here, and I'll. Um, Wipe off the brush and go back to white. Put some more. This is one of those deals where you need an extra thing of white in it, right? Okay, and then I want some white here because there's going to be some light blue. Um, uh, highlights on this pumpkin. And uh, let's see, what else do we need? Oh, yeah, this is fun. You guys, this is fun. Anybody else think this is entertaining to me? It's pretty, I like it when I've never painted it before, and I'm just trying to figure out how would you paint this? You know what I mean? That's sort of fun. And for those of you that are Academy members and gone through that with her when she's made a change and didn't watch it first, you gotta watch the whole video. <laughs> Uh, Especially really, some of the longer ones, we know they're longer, but there's a reason they're long, because you probably changed her mind on it. And you're well, going to be painting along, and all of a sudden the next, the next episode is going to show where she took it out. Well, and more than that, sometimes it just, if, if I do a 20 by 20 picture, it takes a certain amount of time to paint it. Does that make sense? It, it, it takes a certain amount of time to be able to paint something like that. And, um, and you want... Um, you all think I'm using a Posca pen for that. All right, so, so far so good, you guys. Yes and yes? Yeah, all right, so let's get our little dark violet thing and let's put our, let's put our um, stem coming up here like this. Elizabeth would like to know, what are the three places you're still looking forward to visiting? Um, uh, uh, Boy, I was, I've been watching the, uh, the Brit Box, which is uh, uh, TV shows from Great Britain. And they had one, there was a detective show, and they had gone over from Scotland to um, uh, uh, Norway. And I, it was so beautiful. I really would love to visit Norway. And, of course, New Zealand, John, oh, you yeah. too, right? Yep. Those two for sure. Okay. So we're getting there, right? Now, um, uh, let's see. Let's see. I think we lost a little bit of this handle here, but I didn't want to lose that much. There we go. All right, so put that down. All right, now there's some cobwebs. If you guys see it, there's some cobwebs and stuff. Yeah, how are you going to do those? And um, I've, well, I've got to do those. And then there's some grasses and stuff, but I, I feel like we did, we've gotten fairly success. We're fairly successful with the pumpkins, don't you think? I think so. I think we could, you know, want to just um, kind of go out on the outside line here with that. Yeah, New Zealand was supposed to be this year. New Zealand and Australia. Well, we were supposed to get married this year too, and we just, you know. Yeah, I blew that off. We just uh, coronavirus happened, and we didn't get married. Nope. 
you know, we could go to a justice of peace or something, but we'll, we wanted to celebrate it. It's nice. So, you know, there you go. All right, so, all right, let's just do this. Okay, all right, so everybody's happy with pumpkins. We're kind of happy with this, uh, this table along here. Now, what I'm going to do is take this long dagger brush. You guys see that? And I'm going to take well, some... Well, not really. You flipped it up for two seconds. Oh, well, I'm th over here. Not even two seconds. It's right here. Do you see it right here? Well, not as good as you hold it out. All right, there's my dagger brush. Oh, Quarter-inch nice. silver dagger brush. Okay? Yep. What are you do with it? And we're going to... Ooh, the grasses. Put some grasses. The hay, as it were. A little hay or grasses or whatever. Um... Let's take some titanium white in this color and kind of lighten it up. Maybe some of this lighter yellow. Dee Dee says there's a British TV comedy show called The Victor, Victor of Dibley. is a riot. Yeah, well those are sort of fun things to... Um, Sometimes I have trouble with the accent. Yeah, John just can't. I, I have to listen for a while to understand what anybody said, but no offense, you guys. I have trouble with English. And then you saw well, an accent I mean, I, in it? Well, I had a friend from, you know, from Germany who was living in Houston for quite a while, and she said she felt like she really could s pronounce herself an Eng a person that spoke English after she, fi understood, she could understand me. I could see that. Because sometimes you're a fast talker. I know. I, I talk fast. Paint so fast and talk fast. Me, slow and steady will win the race. Well, if there was a race, that might be true. There's always I, a race. I have a lot of thoughts to get out, and it's not a lot. Not a lot <laughs> you have of a lot of thought, and you don't have much time to do it. Not in. much time, so it's just um, <laughs> not much time. You see, we're getting a little bit of this guy. You know, a little brush like this, but you've got, you've got to have a little flow to this paint if it's dried up a little bit. Put a little water in it. Kind of get it. Of course, you could just use one of the flow, flow ones too, which is a good use for that. But you can start with the darker colors and okay. So we got a little bit of straw and stuff happening there. Well, it's a good way to do it. I've been, I've been, I've enabled the closed captions for the British TV. Oh. It's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, I, I think we, we did that once. Okay, so I want to try the zinc white here. Well, and, that's um, really looking good. Yeah, like so far we haven't had to draw anything. Now, somebody's going to want to win this, and if you want to win this possibility in our drawing, make sure you do that entree. And we're also going to be giving away a Salvador kit. And we were talking to Ellie, the accounting department, earlier there, Miss Ginger. What, what, you, what were you we're guys talking give, about? We're, we're giving away the... Um, the, the you know one of the downloadable new um, Halloween pictures. Oh, the new pictures. pumpkin downloadable. Yeah, the new pumpkin downloadable, right? Excellent. When will the auction be? Ooh, Patricia, that's a great question. On February sixteenth, we'll be having our YouTube marathon auction. When? Uh, February. I said October. No, you didn't. Can we rewind the tape? Okay, it's going to be October then. October 16th, if that's a Friday. You know, just verify my calendar. Now, this yes. is, okay, they're wanting to know how I'm doing Two this, weeks. John. So, this right. is, um, Quiet. um, this is zinc white and a little bit of the turquoise blue, right? Okay, it's not February. October. I wonder why I said February. I give up. Why did you say February? What's going to happen in February? My birthday. Oh, see? That's what I thought it was, Queen. I know. You just start thinking about what you were going to get me for my birthday in advance. Is he not a romantic soul? I'm telling you, that's what I was doing over here. Thinking, what can I get her this year? Of course, there's always Christmas before that, you know. All right, so you see how we're getting that right there, right? And then we'll just... Of 
Okay, so it's October 16th. We'll start between 4 and 4.30. We'll, we'll get the details on that. Uh, last time we ran for eight hours, got 12 paintings done. This time we're going to run for eight hours. She's going to get 22 paintings done. Just kidding. She'll get done what she can get done. Runs for about eight hours, though. That's about all I can get out of her. And she peters right, out. See, it's, it's, now we've got the... I'm liking this, that. This, it looks this wispy. Looks, yeah, the little spider webby things here, right? Oh, maybe we'll get married in February. That's what I was thinking. No, mm -hmm. we would never get married on a, on a birthday month. You get chipped out of gifts. Don't be silly. <laughs> no, you just don't do that. I never heard that. Oh, please, my queen. When is February 16th? All right, so, so far, so good. Yes and yes? February 16th. That's a Tuesday. Who would get married on a Tuesday, for Pete's sakes? Probably should have used a Posca pen for this. Are you using a flow paint? No, so I would use one of the fluid paints. Paint. I would have used flow paint. Probably should have. <laughs> I just I didn't. Have so you know what? I didn't. So, <laughs> so there, right? It's all right. It's rusting, falling off. It's, I, I, it's, I it's, didn't it's, use it, but that's okay, right? It's rusting. It adds to the atmosphere. It adds to the atmosphere. We just give a little, a little bit more of this. This is this neat color did I just have? This one is an azo yellow medium. Gloria got married on a Tuesday. Why would you get married on a Tuesday? I don't know. I got married in December and that's my birthday month. Well, see, you got gypped out of gifts. That's just silly. All right. So, all right. So now we want to put the birds in. But, um. That's really looking cool. It's kind of kind of different, right? I like it. But I feel like I need to dry it. So you have something you entertain people with for a minute? Not at all. I think I I have to rebuild everything. Well, so I just mute you and I'll just do yeah, a song this and dance. It won't take long, but we really do have to dry it, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go. All right. While she's drying that off, like I said, we have a YouTube live auction starting on. Friday, October 16th. The actual pieces will stay up for auction for the full week. And then we will have our regular fall auction. We'll be starting on November 1st. And that's where that will run for like a couple of weeks on that one. And that will be it for the 2020 season. And then we'll be back in the spring for the next one after that. I even turned you back on, Queen. Oh, good. I even so I'm going to just take the white Posca pen and do a, some highlights on this. We will give him the highlights. Yeah, just highlights on the lantern. Never hurts, right? Never hurts. Okay, so I want to make sure that's why the, this actually a Posca pen is one of the widest things we've got as far as tools in our little kit here. And uh, our birdie. Kim Carr's birthday is October 16th. Maybe I'll get myself a ginger cook painting. Oh. That's a good idea, Kim. There you go. All right, so we've got some little feeties that are sticking out this way. And then we've got a a body. Coming up here like that, and then it comes down here to the tail, and then it kind of has a crisscrossy tail like a fish. There's this wing, then this comes up like that, and there's a little head. <laughs> Karen's a got a beak. good point. Get married on February 15th, then I can roll birthday, Valentine's Day, and anniversary into one gift. And the queen would say, off with my head. There we go. So now I've cut, cut a drawing him in with the Posca pen, right? So then we'll take a, I think we had something small here. We did. And uh, 
go ahead and get some of this black and a little bit of uh, turquoise blue in it just give it a little bit of warmth and we're going to go ahead and paint our crow in that's Carl that's Carl the crow didn't know that yeah well yeah Yeah, I okay. could not get Paramount Canvas Pad, so I got Strathmore. Horrible. Never make that mistake. Good words to the wise. We like the uh, Paramount little 6x8s. Yeah, I had, I had some out here to show you, the, at least the box, which I put somewhere and then promptly forgot where it was. I had it here just, just not long ago. Huh, look at that. Well, it's not here now, but it was. <laughs> Oh, you should have been here earlier. How could I? Oh, Why weren't you pulling folks here earlier? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't get up. Here. This Don't get up. I was already up. You waited until I got up. This is the. This is what they are. Okay. That's what we're using. And that's what we're using. And then there's the, you know, there's there's ten in a package and they're pre-gessoed. And 100% um, canvas. And, and double got, primed with acid-free acrylic primer. Yeah, they're nice. And um. Except oil and acrylic. And what was the other water, uh, water-based, what was it said? Water-based media. Okay. So um, the thing about these are that they're nice is that they um, you can do small things and then do them bigger. That's the that's the trick. Well, you'll be this. noticing, you know, what we're doing in the academy now is we do a lot of nine by twelve and twelve by sixteen and eighteen by twenty four and six by eight. Those are all proportional, meaning no matter what size <coughs> you do, if you go up and down, it's scaled right to that size. Yeah. Ooh, Ralph the Raven. No, Ralph the Raven's up in the air. She hasn't done Ralph yet. I like that, though. <coughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, so there's a... So yeah, there's Ralph a, and Carl. There's a Raven up, up in here, which is a little bit more challenging to paint. Um, <laughs> Ooh, did I challenge you with that one? <coughs> well, I put them you, up if there you, for put you. The, you put the... the Here's the head right there. Okay? And then there's the beak kind of going down like that. Okay? And then if you, there's a body that's back here and the tail is at an angle like this. And it goes in like this and kind of connects somehow to this guy, right? And then, but this is at an angle here, okay? So that's kind of curved that way. This is curved this way. And then you, this comes up like this and... Uh, that's going to be too big for the there. I'm going to take him off because of the lantern. I don't have room for him. So this is easy. All right, so we're going to erase, right? Everybody wants to see how we're going to do that. Yeah, I certainly do. So he didn't work. He's too big. It's all right. There goes Ralph. Okay. It's not too late to enter the drawing, still accepting entrees. All right, so he's going to take a little bit of the uh, tub of towels and to take the rest of them off. All right, so he's gone. All right, so we, he needs to be littler. We can do him, but he needs to be littler. So you had two here. I tell you what, John, I don't think I'm going to put those in like that. I think I'm going to put one in like this. So I don't really have as much room as I would like for the okay. for the birds and I know you think it it's in the um when you guys do it yourself you can do it. Be able to trace it in there, scale it right. She yeah, sketched we'll, them in. We'll try to do that and um we'll just make a little smaller one like this. Like that and Do a Van Gogh thing with all the little tiny crows in here, right? All kind of flying in the air. Then I can put all my birdies in. It makes me all happy. <laughs> Just. All right. How many of you guys have a whole flock of them now? I can't name all of those guys. Well, they, yeah, see, you, you snooze, See? you lose, right? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, so that's... One, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
That's all right. Yeah. All right. Got a whole herd of them. Yeah. Got a whole herd, and I'm going to make this one smaller. But I'll just um, do the same thing. I'll just erase part of his wing the same way I did that. Let me just come up here like that, rinse, wipe, because he's still wet. So he should come off. If you're having trouble or something like that, he'll come off. And I wanted to just make him a little bit smaller. Yes, trick or treating is being discouraged this year due to the pandemic. Yeah, don't I don't think we'll get any um any anything like that. There we go. That's that's better. See, rinse, wipe, swipe, and you've got. Oh, so see, see, Shirley's right. You have created a murder of crows. That's what they're called, you know. I didn't know that. Shirley, you just boy, my day's complete. I've learned something new. All right. So incidentally, we have these, you know, we have these grids available too for the kind of see what we painted here, right? And um, you can see that these will be all available in our uh, be um, beginner acrylic academy, acrylicartist.com, and they'll be available for um, download. Now I'm going to just. So just go ahead and add a few more cobwebs. All right, with our Posca pen. And uh, I want to bring this. Um, hey, we'd like to thank Alan for the donation that came in through PayPal and also Miss Brooke. Thank you very much. Oh, absolutely. Thank you very much, you guys. Yeah, this was the pen to use on that, by the way, the Posca pen on the lantern to put the details in on it. And there's a little hook up here like this. That would be very hard to do with the brush. But these are acrylic pens, so this is just such a nice um, thing to have. Now, here's a, here's a valid question from Kimberly. Uh huh. Can we send the same painting in for a pack more than once? Yeah, in fact, I, I, I'd like to see it back. If I make some suggestions, I'd like to see it back, and then I could say, yeah, that's good. What if you did this? And then that's good. You could do that. So you could do this two or three times. It could happen. Or you might just send it in. I'm going, oh, my gosh, you got it. I love it. See, you never know. But I, I would strongly suggest. I, I've seen her work on one for, you guys went back and forth, what, six times, I think, on one? Mm-hmm. Six or seven times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as you're working on it. Hey, Teresa has names for all of the um, Ravens. We have Randy, Rich, Raymond, Rick, Renoir, Renoir, Reese, Roger, and Ronald. Oh, those are cool. So that's who's back there next to coming in and getting Carl. That's a poor Carl. He's in big trouble. It's a little bit of this grass with a Posca pen, which I think is kind I of cool. I like when right? you use the final painting as the cover on the lessons easier, just saying. They get there when the painting's done. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's our trick I here. I mean, they're not painted yet. Yeah, we, do, we definitely do that. Well, I think that's pretty close here, John. I think... Um, well, uh, what, are, what are we showing this week? Well, you, oh, look, like, we, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Wait. You guys will not believe you this. you got to see this one. This is okay. my fave. So this, this is. This is my new favorite. This is this week's Academy tutorial. Oh, isn't that adorable? This New Zealand. It's our um, little uh, uh, farm. Our little sheepies. Our little, and our little sheepies. And this is a 12 by 12 canvas, and that will be the Academy release, Senior Academy release for this week. You look for that probably toward the weekend. What did we release uh, last Saturday, John? Which was just a couple days ago. What did you release? I don't think you got it till Sunday. Oh, the cafe. Do you have that? Oh, the cafe. That's a great one. Oh, yeah. I know what it is. Yeah, John, get it's it. I wanna, I wanna, you know, we do these, we do like one cookie lessons, two cookie lessons, four cookie lessons. And, you know, we understand you won't do all of them. But if you're an academy you member for under $30 a month, if you're a senior, you know, you've got the choice of four different lessons to paint or all of them plus all the others. Up here. i got to back out and, that, um, baby. And there's so much you can paint. And um, plus the personal art coaching. It's just, nobody's offering anything like that, you know. And we really encourage you to join the academy and just 
you know, find these wonderful, inspiring things to paint. John's going to back out yeah, a little I bit, Yeah, I think right? I got it. And this painting right here, which is what we call Academy Cafe, this was really Uruguay. This is a, a 20 by 20 canvas. We do paint, we do paint larger things. It's nine hours of design. It's how to design, how to, we show you the original uh, reference photo and none of these tables and chairs were these colors. And we show you why we picked the colors and, and, how, and how we got the lights and darks on all of this and, and what we left, put in the painting and what we left out. And there's a lot of, even if you never paint it, watch it for the design. Watch it for, and all you people in our design class, while you're waiting for our putting the stuff up, just take them, take some time and watch how we painted this, because it'll really make sense to you. So this is the kind of artwork that comes out all the time. It's just my voice. There's no John. It's just me talking and explaining stuff, right? Once in a while, I get to have a comment if she has a question. Yeah, John, I have have the but comment. But no, no chit chat. Yeah, and for instance, and again, this is the painting that is our gift to our. Uh, basic supporters are uh, beginners. Basically all our Academy members. Everybody, any kind of Academy member, you guys, this will and be it's also this available, is available for download to paint right now. now. And, yeah, and you can download, if you want to own it to download, we put it on sale in our uh, gingercookstore.com for how much? Twelve ninety five. Normally it's a thirty four ninety five lesson. So you can, 9 by 12, and so you can download that. It comes with the references and the traceables and all that good stuff so that you can make this a fun holiday theme painting. So if you did that one, and you did, now wait, wait, because this is kind of good. You've got, if you did them both, um, say 9 by 12, right? If you did them both, look how cute. Oh, that would be cute together, wouldn't These it? These really could be a pair, could they not? They could be a pair. And uh, this is sort of the outside of the barn, and this is sort of the inside, right? So that's, I'm really thinking that would be marvelous, and the colors all go. And you're going to learn a lot in this about glazing. There's so much stuff that we tell you in this lesson, you won't believe it. So, um, there's that. So, that Did being... Did you have any more to show? Well, one more thing. When were we doing this one? What is it? The, the winter one? Uh... The snow? Well, oh, this is, I'll just show it to you. We it's don't know when. Soon. It's coming soon. <laughs> we're not sure when we're oh, going to release it. Oh, I love that it. one. Uh, th this is one of our old EGs. Yeah. Uh, old EG guys, American artists, and since you asked, this will be coming soon in the Academy, which I think is just it's very peaceful, isn't it? And he even had a flock of birds. I want to mention, it's just not me. <laughs> Look at his little flock of birds there. So he had them to you guys. So <laughs> that's where they came from. So there. So we just finished that lesson. So we, there. we've had a busy week. We've had a busy week. We just, uh, I just decided Sunday you all had an extra lesson. Uh, we painted it yesterday, and John got it up on the academy for you. you well, know, me, so between me and my son it. Charlie, I mean, we were up until four o'clock to get that all posted, so you guys would have okay. it available immediately upon the Queen's request. That's right. That's right. So here's our. Uh, I think this is sort of, sort of a nice, uh, a holiday theme one. Uh, who's won it, John? Well, Ginger, let's see. How many people are Oh, there? I have no idea. I, I don't even have that opened up on this computer. I've got to go to the, I've got to go to the other computer. You do? Yeah, I didn't even bring it up on that computer. I was organized and did it over here. Oh, my gosh, John. I know. It's unusual. Organized. We've had uh, quite a few responses, as it were. Yeah, well, I think this is fun. And while he's showing you that, this is what a brand new... Okay, so uh, this is what a brand new set of um, Salvador paints looks like, and someone will be winning one of those too. We'll draw for that tonight as well. So that's what these look like with the tw with the with the brushes and the sponge and the palette knife. Okay, all of that stuff. And again, uh, we think that's one of the better deals out there on the internet. You've been seeing, you've been watching me all through the COVID thing, since the COVID started using these paints really for like six months and uh, having very good results with them. And we still use, I still use like, for instance, on my larger paintings, I still use like probably Holbein or Golden or some of these others. But for small stuff, you get the color. It's really nice. You get the color and um, uh, you can get the, you know, the coverage and a uh, great deal on that. So... And these are fun too. They'll talk about complementary colors. Here's the orange and the and the blue right across from each other. The orange and the tur you know the turquoise. So those are complementary colors. This is one of the reasons why pictures like this are successful. So who won it, John? 
Uh, we're in Memento 4-4. Four, got to scroll back in time because it was one of our earliest entries. Really? Some of the, one of the early people, one of our early birds won it, huh? Yep. Uh, that person right there. Oh, I might as well say it because I'm not in the right computer. So I, got, yeah. I have to remember it now. Hold yeah, on a second. I'll remember it. I'll write it down. Who Len won it? Lenny, Lenny Burdick. Lenny Burdick? Yep. Coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back. Lenny, Lenny Burdick. Where was Lenny from? Oh, man. Idaho. Idaho. Well, I don't think we ever had anything go to Idaho before, do you? No, never had anything go to Idaho before. Lenny. Cool. Burdick. A little red dot in the eye. I think that's kind of cute. Definitely crow-like, right? Painting. So, I mean, this is great. So, Lenny, if you're still out there, we need your mailing address. And speaking of mailing address, last week's never got back to me yet. Donna wow. Matheson, if you are out there, last call. Last call. Otherwise, we'll, it'll be it'll be it'll, it'll be, be given away next week. Yep. If you, we don't hear back from you, we don't hear back next from week. you. Consider gone. Now the next person. Yes, who's going to be getting the Salvador paint Salvador kit? Salvador paint kit winner is. is drum roll, please. Yes, going all the way to the other end. Is that getting, person there? Okay, which is who? Should I write that down? Yes, please do. I can do that. Uh, Lynn Beasley. B-E-A-Z-L-E-Y. B-E-A-Z-L-E-Y. -E -E the, the paint set. And that's going to Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. You know where Nova Scotia is? In Canada. We love Nova Scotia. It's gorgeous. Lucky you. It's so beautiful, you guys. You're getting a, I bet you're getting a nice fall. Well, this is too cool. And then, no, wait, wait. We're drawing for the next drawing is for the... Uh, downloadable yeah. lesson, which is this one. You can have this as a downloadable. Our um, uh, our sorry. pumpkins in the barn. Pumpkins in the barn. I so we I got we're gonna do, we're drawing Wait, let me, for that. Let me back out. Let me back out. Let me back so out. So John's gonna um, you go. know, so for that one. And again, I think they these guys go so perfect together, oh, don't they? Yeah. Okay. So you gotta have. You gotta do both, you guys. You, you gotta paint both. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do them nine by twelve and paint them both. Yeah, right? don't, 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 don't be chintz, don't be chintzy now. Yeah. Let's let's decorate up. Come on. And, and that's going in between the last two. Yeah. This random.org really picks out the numbers. I mean, it's very. We use random.org. It's very to random. pick the you know it's random. We don't know who's winning. Just you know we're not just picking our friends. We don't know anybody that's winning. So there you go. Who who's got it now? We don't have friends, honey. We have friends. Do we? Lots of friends. There are all these people out there, my friends. Do you know them all? Well, I would. Probably would. We'd probably um, all have fun and have coffee, yes? be fun. What? I don't drink coffee. Well, you don't have to come then. What does well, this be us, you I'm not coming then. <laughs> Joyce, Joyce uh, Selby. 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 Jo Joyce? Selby. Probably Selby. Joyce Selby. All right, Joyce. You won this as a downloadable lesson. Uh, downloadable pumpkins. So I'm going to write that down, Joyce. There we go. C L B Y. Selby. All right. So she won the the the, the vi downloadable video. Yep. Downloadable video. Joy. So don't forget, you guys. This is. I think this is. I hope everyone's going to have a good holiday. And um, in spite of the fact that um, we're stuck at home, we're kind of stuck at home. And, and we have to eat the whole bag of candy ourselves. We yeah. will make that sacrifice. But yeah, we could make the sacrifice. Absolutely. Right? So Absolutely. I hope you've enjoyed it. I think this was too cool for words. I think this is what, some of my too new favorites. Too cool for words. Yeah, but I'll have some anyway, because I think this is going to be <laughs> one of those things where um, this will be a great holiday tradition. Don't you think so? Oh, I, there's yeah. no doubt about it. Holiday tradition. Holiday tradition. All right, that's all I've got. I don't have anything I can even queue up. I can play the long video of the um, promo for our auction. Sure. I'll let you guys listen to that. All right. If you, if you hang in there all the way to the end, you will be laughing on the floor. Yeah, if you hang in to the end, it's very, very fun. All right. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week, 5.30 uh, Central Time. Um, I'd like to know, uh, really, in the comments after the show that you can leave below, um, you know, how you felt about the, uh, the our giveaways and if you're liking the Halloween thing that we, we did this week. I'd really like to hear your feedback on it. And share, if you did, share these with your friends, subscribe, like the videos. We've got a lot of likes out there, John. We have 350. It's not bad. Well, that's pretty good. We could do some more likes, right? Yeah. 
And, uh, and, and we thank you for watching. And hey, everybody hey, that contributed, thank you. And if you're watching this later, you can still go to our academy and and contribute or just become a basic supporter for four ninety five a month and have access to all the traceables and everything for the whole year uh, that we've got up so far. So it's worth being a member. And those of you who are, thank you very much. And those that are doing a pack, a personal art coaching, and you want to send it back in again, use the same ticket. Reopen it and send it back again. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Any Bye. other questions, you should contact us. We'll We're out of here. We'll see you soon. Bye. Not until next Number 50. Week. Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and I'd like to welcome you to my auction site. Several times a year, original paintings that I've created, either for YouTube or my Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting, are offered for sale to the highest bidder. These are below wholesale prices at the, with the starting bids. Each thumbnail has uh, can be enlarged because some paintings are maybe as small as six by eight, others larger, but there are verticals and horizontals that can only be viewed when you click on the thumbnail to get the full picture, and we encourage you to do so. The sold paintings come with a certificate of authenticity, and there's a copy of what that looks like on the site, and that's signed by me, guaranteeing you have an authentic Ginger Cook original acrylic painting. One of the features of our auction site is a automatic bidding system and there's more information about how that works on the site but it's for your convenience and I think you're really going to like it. The cautionary tale here is be sure to register first so that you can participate in the bidding. And finally we want to thank you for taking the time to look at these paintings. I encourage you to find something you really would love to have in your home or give us a gift and be part of our, the legacy of Ginger Cook, our tugs, from John and I. Ooh, she did it in 50, people. Look at her go. Did I say everything? Yep. Yeah. I think you did. Was that okay? I think so. 20 second spot only takes 30 minutes. Wait here. One of the features that is offered on our website. For and let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature. <laughs> yes, that alone. <laughs> I did. I said click on the thumbnail. Okay, then you're, then then you're I said, the I said, there's the <laughs> Another great feature of our auction site is the robotic eviction. Um, start again. <laughs> <laughs> you think I drank, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another great feature. You want to go from the robot again? Or? Yeah, just. <laughs> One of the great features, one of the great features of our auction site is our robotic. <laughs> robotic what? Oh, yes. Is the robot the option of, let me try. <laughs> Bidding system. Okay, that's better because I can't say robot apparently. And bidding at the same robot, time. Let's go for the automatic bidding system. Um, to bid, register to bid. Okay, let me start again. All right. I don't know how so I can't. So close. <laughs> so close. Almost had it. God, they couldn't afford to have me make a movie be there. With a first oh, we could never afford this. We couldn't afford oh. this. All right. The, the budget bid for you. And then being able to walk away and not worry that someone has outbid you. Well, that's still good, but. <laughs> By a quarter. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we'll have the hard, hard hugs from John and Ginger. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> no hard hugs here, people. You're on your own. We had our hugs before. <laughs> 